Good morning, church family. My name is Chris, and I'm one of the pastors here at PVUMC. We are so glad to have you join us in worship today, whether live or otherwise. Today is a very special Sunday for us because instead of a typical worship service, our very own children's choir, the Gospel Troop, will be presenting the world premiere of the musical The Road to Agape, written and directed by our wonderful Gospel Troop leader, Larisha Lamar with music by Bill Zimmerman. This incredible musical follows a curious boy named Brendan and his vivacious toy unicorn named Charlie as they bravely travel to the city of Agape to buy God's love. Like many of us on the road to find God's love, they meet unlikely friends and encounter both naysayers and warriors of God. We can't wait to share this adventure with you in just a few moments, so stay tuned. Before we get too much further, this is just a reminder that starting next week Sunday, we'll be switching over to our live stream format for our Sunday morning worship services instead of the pre-recorded format we've had for the last year. It'll still be the same time, same place. If you're comfortable doing so, you can also join us for in-person worship at 9 a.m. in the Fellowship Center. No registration needed. Okay. Let's quiet our hearts as Emery and Josh lead us in our prelude for this morning. Thank you for that wonderful gift of music. What an appropriate song for a morning when we are celebrating our children. As we prepare our hearts for worship this morning, I want to remind you that if you're in need of a prayer request, please don't hesitate to click on the Request Prayer button somewhere on your screen. You'll be taken to someone who will immediately and confidentially pray with you right away. Okay, let's pray. Almighty God, we are thankful for this morning as we celebrate the accomplishments of our gospel troop and indeed all of the children and youth of our church as they continue to learn in faith and love what it means to follow you. Help those of us who are not children or youth anymore to be good examples for these kids, to be the community that we committed to in their, ba in their baptism, to support them and, and raise them up as a community of faith, partnering with their parents and guardians and grandparents to give them an environment in which they can come to know you in a real and very loving way. God, we pray this morning for everybody in this world who is suffering, whether they be suffering physically or mentally or spiritually or emotionally, help us to be a community of people who can come alongside them, who are given the eyes to see the opportunities to show them your love, and give us the courage to speak up and act out when appropriate. God, we know that you have big things planned, not only for our church, but for each one of us. Help us in this next week to claim in at least one small way that plan that you have for us. And we pray all of this by praying the prayer that you taught your disciples to say, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. us here today. Gospel Troop has been working tirelessly since January to bring you this original production and we're so thrilled to share it with you here today. Gospel Troop is a group of young thespians who are committed to sharing their faith through their participation in the arts. If you know any first through fifth graders who love to sing, act, and dance and want the invaluable opportunity to grow in their faith, the new session of Gospel Troop will resume in the fall and we want you there. Check us out at pvumc.org slash music. I hope you enjoy the show.
Bible says it's all you need. You don't need no stinking log. Yeah, you don't need no stinking log. That's right, because do you know what we got? What? We got stuff! Whoa, what is all this? It's only the coolest stuff in the world. Yeah, the coolest. And it's all you'll ever need.
different and that's okay. We're all in this room. God made us that way. Join hands in jubilation, every creature of creation. Let each and every nation shout it out in celebration. We're a little bit different, and that's okay. We're a little bit different, God made us that way. Because you and you and you, you have a unique point of view. We're a little bit different, and we should say. I just have the coolest dream. Me too. Because you and you and you, you have a unique point of view, a little bit different. And we should celebrate, 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 celebrate. celebrate, celebrate, Your Bible in a year, you still have a working place waiting for you here. Even if you know you were on this last week, you know you have a place that's safe for you to speak. Even if I feel a little different than you, this is still the place that you can feel renewed. No matter if you're working or running or in a chair, Agape is a place where people still care. Come as you. Okay. 
Jonah needed to learn how to follow God's commands in the future. So, when God calls on you to spread his word, what should you do? Trust him and obey. That's right. Who wants to hear another story of God's love? It looks like we have some visitors here today. Hi, I'm Ellie the Storyteller. Welcome to Agape. Exodus tells of an Egyptian prince named Moses. He finds out he's really a Jewish slave. After a talk with God, he goes on a quest to free his people from slavery. This is our kids' spy on God's love. Hello, Miss. We like to buy a bottle of God's love. Wait, you can't buy God's blood. What's all the commotion here, Eliza? Are we being welcoming to our guests? Well, yes, but they have the craziest request. Now, now, Eliza, let's be kind. After all, we've tra traveled all this way just to visit our humble city. Miss Mayor, the truth is, we're not here just to visit. Well then, kids, and Madame Unicorn, why have you come to visit the city of Agape? We heard about a bottle of God's love. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Like I said, you can't buy God's love. I've got two video games and a toy car that says I can. Yeah, and I brought my love for the past few months. God doesn't want your money. What does he want then? He wants your love. What?
makes sense now. God's love really is all around us. You guys shared God's love when you helped bring me to Agape. And all the times I got to play with you, even I, little old Charlie, was sharing God's love. Guys, I've never done anything nice for anybody. I just steal and hurt people. You can start now. God loves you even if you, even if you haven't always been the nicest. Start sharing his love today. You know what? You're right. I think it's time for me to go. Where are you off to? My friends were just as confused as me. So I'm going to share God's love with them so they can start over today too. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Try sharing some of the stories of God's love that you learned here today. You can even bring them to the Gabbai for the best hugs in the north. I think I'm ready to go home too. I miss my parents and I want to tell my mom about my adventures. I'm coming with you. But Charlie, if you come back, we'll become a toy. You want me to stay here and miss out on sharing God's love with you? I don't think so, buddy. We've still got years of playing to do. Well, let's get going. Wait, there's a much faster way to get back to Scottsdale. Dream. Charlie was alive when we went to the city of Agape to buy God's love. That's what you have to understand, Brendan. You can't buy his love. I know, I know. God's love is everywhere, like when I hug you and when we help others. That's right, Brendan. His love is all around us. I can even share it. It can literally come through me. That's absolutely right. You really do get it, don't you? I do, Mom.
Again, a huge thanks to all of the kids, parents, and volunteers, and especially to our fearless gospel troop leader, Larisha, for putting together such a wonderful musical. We are so fortunate to have a thriving and growing children's music program at PVUMC. Music is such an appropriate way to express God's presence in our lives, and our kids do such a great job. This is the part of the morning where I remind you to, if you haven't done so already, consider giving a financial gift to the church during this morning's offering. Better yet, you can become a sustaining, recurring giver. Your generosity helps sustain the life and ministry of the church, including our gospel troupe, mini singers, music makers, children and youth bell choirs, youth choir, and all of the other musical opportunities we have for our young people at PVUMC. Please consider giving uh, or to continue giving to this great cause. You can do so now by visiting pvumc.org slash give now, or you can click on the button somewhere on your screen. Thanks for your support.
Before our benediction today, just a quick reminder again that next week we'll be starting a different format of worship online. Still the same time and place, just a slightly different look. It's all part of beginning the slow process of restarting some of our in-person efforts. We appreciate everyone's patience and support during this next transition. Also, if you're interested in some live music, I want to encourage you to check out our very own Ashley Strausser and Andrea Fennig as they present another one of their charming and lively Dueling Divas concerts. They're calling this one Dance the Night Away, and it will surely be an evening packed with some familiar tunes played on several pianos by at least four hands. That's Saturday, April 17th. Tickets are on sale now, and you can find out more by checking out the link somewhere on your screen. Okay, now hear and receive this benediction from the Lord. You are the beautiful people of God, and God loves you with an absolutely perfect love. This week, as you find yourself wherever you're at, whether it's at work or on the road to agape, find a way to love this world that desperately needs to be loved and love as Christ loves you. And the peace of God the Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ will be yours now and forevermore. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Um.